major drug bust to protect your family. 24 pounds of marijuana. Yeah, we told you about this arrest at 6, and now at 11, new details about the fortress used to protect those drugs and then the money trail left behind. Eric Sandoval is live in Orlando tonight. Eric, even more disturbing is where this was all taking place. You're absolutely right, Matt. We found out all this pot was being sold just steps away from a community church in a home that was under really heavy guard. Police arrested one man, and Orlando police investigators tell me tonight they're looking for that man's boss tonight, a man that a lot of people describe as a, as a drug-dealing Robin Hood. This is what 24 pounds of marijuana looks like. Orlando police say it has a street value of about $30,000. Tonight, it's off the streets after OPD seized it, after raiding this home off of Ivy Lane. It took a while for them to breach the door, and we found out that they heavily reinforced the doorframe. Orlando police detective Young Hall says not only does this home sit far off the roadway and behind an iron gate, bars were installed over the windows on the inside. He says the home was a fortress guarding the drugs inside. Well, we were glad to get it off the streets. Um, more, more so, we're always happy to get the guns off the street. Those are the big things for us. Hall says they found semi-automatic and handguns in the house that backs right up to this Orlando community church. Police arrested 56-year-old Roberto Alfonso Serrano. Hall says Serrano told them it was his job to guard the drugs and the money. He says his boss is the kingpin, who claims that he takes the money he earns selling drugs here and sends it to the poor in the Virgin Islands. Tonight, OPD is looking for him. I just want the drug dealers to know that we are always watching and uh, we're going to try to slow things down for them and make it difficult for them. Now we checked the jail tonight. Serrano is already out. He was booked at 8 o'clock last night, released about 4 o'clock this morning. Investigators here at the Orlando Police Department are urging anybody who may see activity like this happening in their neighborhood to give them a call immediately. We're live in downtown Orlando tonight. Eric Sandoval, News 6. Matt? Eric, thank you.